If you followed me exactly during the previous tutorial, then you have probably done exactly what I have done, which means that you accidentally threw away the composition that you created from scratch because you didn't name it something that would be uh, different enough from something that was named in a Photoshop file. Uh, I discovered this when I was getting ready to create this tutorial and I clicked on this composition which I thought was the base composition that I had created to put everything into but lo and behold it is the composition that came from Photoshop when I imported my snow layer and I can tell that just by looking because a right up here I can see the icon uh, for this particular um, composition is long and skinny and I can also see its dimensions which is 640 by 1000. If you remember from the previous tutorial I had created a composition that was um, 640 by 457 and you may be panicking if that indeed is the case. No need to panic. It's easy to fix. You just go up to composition, new composition and you recreate it and this time I'm going to call it base and that way I will always and forever know that is the base composition for everything. Um, it, I haven't changed anything on these settings since the last time we were here so it should be exactly as it was before I messed up. So you will see that I have my base composition over here now and I may throw away the snow composition from the Photoshop file. Um, the best thing that you can learn about this actually is how to troubleshoot yourself. If for some reason your composition gets closed like this and all of a sudden your interface does not look like it should, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what do you do? Well, you can come over here and just double click on base composition and it will put your window back or if all kinds of things happen you can always go up here to Window Workspace and you can tell it to Reset Standard. And you can tell it to discard the changes. And it will reset it to look exactly like it did in the beginning. Um, one thing you may notice is when I did reset it that my composition looks much larger now and my timeline looks much smaller. That is because if you look, you will see a double arrow that you can slide around and that means that you can make your timeline longer or shorter depending on how much screen real estate you need. Alright, so let's get this built up here. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to open up the folder that has our building background in it and I am going to take um, and I am going to figure out which uh, of these layers I want to bring in and this one is only half I can see that by just looking up at its icon this is the other one that is only half and this is the one that is my background so I am going to click and drag that layer directly down into my timeline and then I am going to bring the other two layers directly down into my timeline. I am not taking them across to the composition window because if I take them over to the composition window, as you can see, it's going to be hard to line them back up. If that happens, all you have to do is click on it and delete that layer and then drag it down to the bottom. Now we need to make sure that we have um, these in the correct order and they are not currently in the correct order because the one that is the background is sandwiched in between the two whoops excuse me between these two so I'm going to click and drag whoops there we go I'm going to click and drag this layer underneath. Alright, and that is how you can start building this up. 
Now I'm going to bring in my snow.psd and I'm going to place it at the very top and you will notice that it covers everything. Oh my gosh! Well, I'm going to come over here right now and drag it so that the bottom part of the image is right at the bottom. You can see right down here little little tiny um, pull marks. You just drag those until they line up with the bottom of your picture. Okay. And then on a Mac, you will hold down the control key and click and go to blending mode. On a PC, you will just right click and go to blending mode. And on the snow layer that you just brought in and pop that up to screen blending mode. And now you will see how you can see through your snow. Okay? And I'm going to end this tutorial here and see if I can figure out why my um, computer disk is almost full. That is not cool. But this showed you how to make your snow clear. We will work on bringing the bird in in the next tutorial and making the snow animate.